The following is a guide for the Zer vase bounty that you have to do. So the first step you have to do is you have to kill 25 Thrall with a solar powered fusion rifle. So what I thought was the best way to go about it is I went to the Dark Beyond mission on the moon. It's when you open the hive and all these Thrall come pouring out and you need to get 25 of them and as you can see they just keep coming and coming. I put the level on level 20 so there would be a ton of Thrall enough to fill the 25 quota. I would do the same. I don't know if 25 Thrall come on level 8 or whatever the lowest level you can do. But this is the first task. It's fairly easy. It's going to take you all of about two minutes. The second part of the bounty requires you to melee attack five cursed thralls. Those are the dudes that make all the noise and got the blue shiny heads. So I went to the Chamber of Night mission on the moon. And I did this because I knew there was a bunch of cursed thralls at the very end of the mission. I'm sure you could find five cursed thralls in the patrol on the moon if you really wanted to. But I just knew this mission would be the easiest way to find a bunch of them. So what you got to do is you just knife them, but as you knife them, obviously they explode and take away a lot of your health. So what you need to do is make sure you have a full health bar just to be safe because the last thing you want to do is die. And if you die, it starts over the bounty, so you can't die. But it's pretty easy. You just take your time, knife five of them, and then you're done. For the third part of the bounty, you need a void weapon, and you're killing acolytes and wizards to amass 100 points. Wizards are more points, they're 5 points compared to Acolytes are 1, and you have to do it with Void Damage. So what I did is I just went back to the Chamber of Night mission on the moon, and where it drops you right before the Hellmouth, and I went to this back area because I knew there were going to be some Acolytes, and busted out a Void Shotgun and went to work. There's fairly easy kills on Acolytes around this little area where you get dropped initially. Down here there happened to be a Wizard, which was perfect, and a bunch of Acolytes. And I decided to roam around at first before doing the Chamber of Night mission again because I didn't believe that I was going to be able to amass 100 points just on the Chamber of Night mission alone. But there you can see right there the wizard gave me 5 and then the acolytes do 1. It goes fairly quickly. 100 at first seemed like a lot but it actually goes pretty quick. And I chose the Chamber of Night mission because of the amount of wizards. And there also are a ton of acolytes on this mission as you work your way down to the Chamber of Night. So as you can see, this is the first witch. There's a ton of acolytes. If you've played through the Destiny campaign before, you know this spot. I think you have to run through it like twice on two different uh, main storyline missions. And along with the first witch you saw, and I cut out the other witch, but you do get two witches, and then you got three more, the siphon witches. So that's five witches on one mission. Five times five is 25. So that's 25 quick points right there. Really easy and simple, and there's a ton of acolytes. And if you roam around for a little bit at first and at the beginning like I showed you, you should easily amass 100 points by the end of the mission. Fourth part of the bounty, you have to kill Urzok the Hated, go to patrol on Earth and go to the Sky Watch. The Sky Watch is where the loot cave is that everybody was using. And as you can see, there's a bunch of us waiting for a random event to happen. You can go onto Google and look when a random event's going to happen in the Sky Watch. That's where it sent me to, def uh, to defeat Urzok. I don't know if that's the same for everybody or if they're going to move where the random event needs to take place on the Cosmodrome. But this is the area right here. If you don't know where this is, when you get dropped into the Cosmodrome, just head to the left through the plains, up through the Dark Hive room, through there, and then you'll come out to this spot, and then you just gotta sit and chill out and wait for the random event to happen. I had three other dudes in here, so it took all of about 25 seconds to kill Urzok. The fifth and final part of the bounty is you're gonna get an order for a special mission. It's called the Ritual Sacrifice. We're back on the moon again. Now you can do this mission on two different levels. You can do it on level 30 where you'll get five motes of light. I tried it on level 30. I'm a level 29 hunter. It wasn't very easy as you'll see here in a second. I'm skipping all this BS. I didn't even waste my time killing any of these dudes. It's just a waste. Just run to the end. There's no point in wasting your time any more than you have to killing those guys. But you can do it on level 30, but it is pretty tough. I, would, uh, I didn't have any uh, friends on at the time. So I wasn't able to do it solo, it was a pain in the ass, but if you have some buddies to play with, do it on level 30, you'll get 5 motes of light, you get a little bit more rewards. But yeah, so you just work your way all the way through here, and then you'll find a big humongous urn, and you gotta summon the Forsaken. But the regular level cap is level 26, that's what I did it on. It was still kind of tough, as you'll see here in a second, so I started the ritual, and you can grab swords up there if you'd like. There are gonna be a grip of thralls. The Thrall come from the left and they come from the right and they come from up the middle there right in front of me and you just got to handle them. There's just waves and waves of dudes. If you do hug where they spawn, they don't seem to come 
forward, you know, they kind of back up like you just saw there. So it's not as difficult, but there are a ton of dudes. You just got to work your way through it. And after the initial thralls come and come and come, then acolytes will start to spawn. And I think that's the second wave. The first wave's thrall, second wave's acolytes. Now be careful though when you do hug the spawn areas, as you'll see here in a second when I'm hugging these steps so they can't come and get me. Guys will spawn from behind you and in the first couple waves it's just going to be acolytes, it's not going to be anybody big time. So you see right here they respawn behind me and I almost got caught off guard there and died. So just be wary of that. Now the next wave is going to be a bunch of knights and a bunch of wizards and this part's tough. So make sure to have your heavy ammo and have some extra uh, heavy ammo clips that you can you know, load up just in case you run out. You might have to run around like I'm doing now. I tried to stay off the steps as much as possible because I knew knights would uh, spawn behind me. So as you'll see here in a second, I found the best place to be is this place over on the left because you have two huge cylinders that you can duck behind when wizards are spamming their friggin' Hayukit. That's all, I think, that's all I think about every time I see the wizards, <laughs> freaking Street Fighter. So I would post over here because you can hide behind the cylinders like I said. And the wizards didn't seem to come up that far, they kind of stayed back a few feet. You do have to worry about the knights, but you know, they're not that difficult. The wizards would stay at bay, they would stay out past the columns. And now after you survive the knights and the wizards, the next wave is ogres. Not that difficult, I don't think they're that difficult compared to wizards. All you gotta do is have sniper, heavy ammo. They go fairly quickly once you dominate the ogres. You've beaten the bounty, Zer's earn, and now you're gonna go turn this bad boy in. Once you turn this thing into Zer, he's gonna give you something that you have to go take back to Iris, or Iris, however the hell you say her name. Once you turn this back in, then she's gonna give you a nice little reward. I got some new gauntlets that are much better than the legendary gauntlets I have now. I don't know if it's the same reward for everybody if you're all gonna just get a gauntlet or maybe you'll get a different piece of armor. But yeah, hopefully this guide helps you get through the bounty. I got a pretty decent reward, and I hope you do too. See ya!